Hello, and welcome to Centennial. I am Mrs. Waddell, your principal. And I'm Mrs. Parker, your school counselor. Instead of having kindergarten roundup in person, we are having to do it virtually again this year. So we thought we would just push out our uh, slideshow that gives you all the information that you need and kind of walk through it with you um, and speak a little bit about it. So we will start and go through our slides. This is a slide of everyone that your child might come in contact with this year. Um, we have three kindergarten teachers, uh, Mrs. Peterson, Mrs. Kane, and Ms. Ertham. Kara is our counselor. And we also have Ms. Friel, Mrs. Friel, our nurse. We have Ms. Tyler and Mrs. Ross, who work in our front office. And Mrs. Bernstein, who is our instructional coach. Oops. This page is the registration page on our Southeast Polk website. If you have not already registered, we need you to go to this page and start the registration process to get your kindergartner registered so that we can get them in one of our three classes. The directions are on there and in the slideshow that you receive from us, you'll be able to click right on the links that will get you where you need to go. This is some information from our nurse and she has put together a couple of slides for you. Hang on to this. Here in a slide or two that she will want for you to read through. She has some clickable links, and then she has some very important things that she will read from you. And so just make sure to carefully go through these, and you can get these to her as soon as possible. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact Mrs. Frail, our school nurse. Absolutely. And she included everything in here so you can click and get directly to the form that you need and then fill it out and bring it in. If it's more comfortable for you to scan it into your computer and then um, send it in an email to us, that would be fine too. Just make sure that we get it. So there's a physical form, dental form, vision form. They're all in here. And now she's also included a lot of the school health policies and things you need to know for when school actually does start. So read through those carefully, um, our medication policies, if um, somebody's sick, what you need to do, um, toileting, that comes into question in kindergarten sometimes, but don't worry about that. We can walk through that together and work on it together. Um, and she's also included the goals of the nursing staffs at each school and for our, us at, as a whole at Centennial. If you ever have any questions, just call the school um, at 967-2109 and talk to Mrs. Friel, or you can you feel free to email her. She'll get right back to you as well. It's important also to change the week here that we dress for the weather because we live in Iowa. So in, in any event, um, we do make sure, as she's listed here, that we have some specific guidelines for recess, but do make sure, above all, that you make sure your kids are dressed for the weather, for recess, or for sun going out and out, unless, as we listed there, um, the temperature directs us otherwise. So, as we said, um, weather permitting, we'll always try to go out, but if not, um, just make sure we dress for the weather. <laughs> And here is a link that you'll be able to click on in your slideshow for school supplies for your kindergartner. If you have any questions about that, feel free to give us a call. And here are the times for uh, entering and, and the dismissal times. I am going to tell you that this is what we went with this year, 8.30, all children can enter the building and um, breakfast begins at 8.30, but they will still get breakfast if they get here closer to 8.45. Um, and the tardy bell rings at 8.45. So if your student arrives after 8.45, they will get a tardy slip and there will be a recorded um, tardy on their record. So please do everything you can to get here at them here on time so they don't miss any instructions whatsoever. Um, if things should change um, because of COVID and we start a little bit earlier letting kids in, I will notify you that of that. 
but right now we're planning on 8.30, so please do not drop kids off any sooner than about 8.25 because we do not have supervision outside to, to watch them, so we want to keep everyone safe. Uh, the kindergarten student pickup and drop-off will be at the northeast corner door, as you just noted, and it's going to be at 8 o'clock. So it's really, um, it's really important that we keep our, our kindergartners playing in the back swing door. They come in and out the swing door every, every day. Um, if you want to have your student leave breakfast, that is an option. You don't have to keep yours from 8 to 8 or 5. Typically, they eat in their classroom, and I believe we'll do the same thing next year. Um, and then 335 is the pickup time. And so as we closer to the start of the next school year. We have obviously with COVID had some different arrangements with some standard dismissal and different things this year, but we will know more about what next year will look like. And so we will be pushing that information out to you. So at the end of this presentation, that's why it's important to return current information, phone numbers, addresses, email, those things. So please make sure you have that on file for all of you. Here are the costs for breakfast, um, $280. Um, you know what? I believe I have that switched around. Lunch is $280, breakfast is $170, and milk is $50. I will fix that in our slideshow so that you have the correct slide. Um, the parking lot, um, for parking for pickup and drop off, we use 7th Avenue Southeast along the streets, and the south parking lot has several spots open. We do not want parents to park in our north parking lot. This is used for special education pickup, preschool, and buses. And so we just cannot move or mix a lot of traffic with that, foot traffic and those things. So please make arrangements to use 7th Avenue or some of the side streets. It's super helpful to have your student find a spot outside and then you kind of come in the same area each day so they can watch for you. They can always come back inside and wait before the office too if you're, you're having trouble pulling up or you're a little bit late. So don't worry about that either. Uh, Wednesdays we do have early pickup every Wednesday and the same will be in the swing doors, but um, students will be dismissed the bus students will be at 1 30, but the rest of the students will be dismissed at 1 40. So that's really important that we remember every Wednesday all students are dismissed at 1 40. I almost skipped one. If you're going to pick your child up early for an appointment, um, you need to call the office that morning and let us know so that we can, can get them down here in time for you to pick them up. It's super helpful as well if you email the student's teacher. And then you will come in, tell us you're here, and then you will need to sign your student out. We don't just send them out to the car. So just make sure everybody that needs to know is aware, and then we'll have everything ready on time. If your student that you call the main office as soon as possible. The phone number is on there. And also we ask that you send your student to the classroom email and our student custodian teacher's email is right on there. So if you would just send us some more email for slideshow and a quick way to refer back for the student. And if you have any questions at all, you can always contact me. Um, there is my address, Lori.waddell at Southeast Polk, Mrs. Berger, or Mrs. Friel's emails on there as well. We will also have a link at the end of the slideshow um, to go to a, a form to fill out with parent information. We're asking for your name, your child's name, email, phone number. We also um, included on there if you had any questions for the nurse or if you would like a call back from me, I would be happy to do that. One of the questions that we usually feel during um, kindergarten roundup is, Oh, I can't decide whether to send my child or not. They're five. I think they're ready. I don't know if they're ready. If you would like to talk through that with me or even Mrs. Berger, just give the school a call. Um, you want to make sure you make the right decision for your child. You do know them best, but sometimes it helps to talk to school personnel about that. And on the form, we are asking for your email and your address just to make sure we have all of that information because our teachers We'll be sending out letters to the kindergarten students once we get that firmed up in which class they're in. So we're super excited to meet every new kindergartner. 
Um, we've started a list of who we think is coming, but if you know of somebody else that needs this information, feel free to push out the, um, this uh, video or also the uh, slideshow so that we can get them on the list as well. We are so excited to meet everybody and all the new students that come. And we really think this is going to be awesome. Um, it is. As we hope that you feel the same way, especially if you're a new family coming to your church for the first time, or maybe you've been here a while and this is a new kindergartner that's coming to your church. Just know that we hope you have the best kindergarten ever, and we're looking forward to meeting your kindergartner very soon. So please know there are so many people here that are excited to meet them and just ready to make a wonderful year for them. And please let us know if you have any uh, questions. We can do to help make that successful. Thank you.